so let's ha let's have a look at question number 11 so question number 11 it says that we need to find the integral from 1 to 2 of s cube s cube plus 1 over x squared so what you're going to do is to first of all split the denominator or share the denominator for the numerators so we have integral from 1 to 2 of s cube over x squared plus 1 over x squared so what you do next is to simplify so integral from 1 to 2 s cube over s squared is x which is the same as x exponent 1 then we have 1 over x squared is the same as x exponent negative 2 using the laws of exponent so now we can integrate so when we integrate x squared we get x as when we integrate x exponent 1 we get x exponent 1 plus 1 which is 2 over 2 then we integrate x exponent negative 2 we get x exponent negative 2 plus 1 so x exponent negative 2 plus 1 which is negative 1 over negative 1 plus c since we are dealing with um, indefinite since we are dealing with definite integral we can ignore the constant of integration so we can now substitute the values to obtain we substitute 2 so we have x exponent 2 over 2 minus 1 over x from 1 to 2 so when we substitute x equal 2 we get 2 squared over 2 minus 1 over 2 minus into bracket we have mm, 1 squared over 2 minus 1 over 1 so this will simplify to 2 square over 2 give us 2 minus half then minus into brackets um, 1 squared over 2 is half minus 1 is negative half so this will give us 2 so the, the final answer will be 2 you can actually um, type this on your calculator and it will give you the answer to be option D now let's look at question number 11 question number 12 question number 12 we're given that 5x minus 1 over x squared minus 3x plus 2 um, is equal to p over x minus 2 plus q over x minus 1 so this is partial fraction resolution so we, we resolve to partial fractions so this is the same as this equivalent to by collecting the LCM we have x minus 2 into x minus 1 here so x minus 2 goes into the LCM to give us x minus 1 so x minus 1 times p will give us p times x minus 1 then x minus 1 goes and goes into the LCM we are left with x minus 2 so we multiply it by q to get that so 5x minus 1 over x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to is equivalent to this so since this is equal to this it means the numerators are also equal so 5x minus 1 is equal to p into bracket x minus 1 plus q into bracket x minus 2 so when we put x minus 1 equals 0 we will get x to be equal to 1 so when s is equal to 1 we are going to get 5 times 1 minus 1 is equal to p into bracket 1 minus 1 
pass q into bracket 1 minus 2. So we'll get 4 here. 5 minus 1 is 4 is equal to a negative q. Or q is equal to negative 4. Then we need to look for the value of p. So p to find the value of p we put x equal 2 because x minus 2 equals 0 will give us x equal 2 so you're going to get 5 into bracket so when x is equal to 2 we get 5 into bracket 2 minus 1 is equal to p into bracket 2 minus 1 plus q into bracket 2 minus 2 which will eventually give us 0 so we we'll get 10 minus 1, which is 9, is equal to p. 2 minus 1 is 1 times p is p. So p is equal to 2 and q is equal to negative 4. So q minus p, q minus p will be equal to negative 4 minus 10. And that will give us negative 14. Um, negative 4 minus 9, sorry, minus 9, that will give us negative 13, negative 13. So the correct answer is supposed to be A. Now let's look at question number 13. Question number 13 is saying that the first and fifth terms of a linear sequence or ap are 2 and negative 50 respectively find the sum of the first 21 terms so the first and fifth terms are so the first term is 2 and the fifth term which is a plus 4d is equal to negative 50 so it means 2 plus 4d is equal to negative 50. So for d will be equal to negative 50 minus 2. So for d will be equal to negative 52. So d will be equal to negative 52 over 4. And 4 will go into 52, 13 times. So d is equal to negative 13. We have to find a sum of the first 21 tens so sum of the first n tens is given by n over 2 times 2 times of a plus n minus 1 times d so sum of the first 21 tens it means n equal 21 so 21 over 2 plus 2 times a which is 2 plus n minus 1 21 minus 1, which is 20, times d, which is negative 13. So this will give us sum of the first 21 times to be equal to 21 over 2 times 4 minus 2, 60, which is equal to 21 over 2 times negative 2 5 6 and this will give us and this will go here negative 128 21 times negative 128 will give us negative 2 6 8 8 so we see the correct answer to be option c now let's look at question number 14 so given that r is equal to 12 newtons comma 300 degrees then we have um, we have to express r in the form p comma q so r will be equal to uh, 12 because okay 12 um sine 300 degrees 12 sine 300 
300 degrees then we have 12 cos 300 degrees so that is what we'll get and we know that cos 300 degrees cos 300 degrees is Is 0 0.5 and sine 300 degrees is negative root 3 over 2 so 12 times negative root 3 over 2 then we have 12 times half so that will give us a negative 6 root 3 then 6 negative 6 root 3 then 6 so the correct answer will be option C option C now let's look at question number 15 if the median of 9 4 9 X 16 6 and 19 is 13 find the median if the mean is 13 you have to find the median of the numbers so if the mean is 13 we need to add all this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we add all of them so we're going to get we're going to get 13 which is the mean is equal to 9 plus 4 plus 9 plus x plus 16 plus 6 then that will give us plus 19 here yeah. all over 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so all over 7 mm. so let's add and see 9 plus 9 is 18 18 plus 16 plus 16 is 22 40 and 44 plus 19 44 plus 19 will give us 63 so 13 times 7 is equal to 63 plus x now 13 times 7 will give us 13 times 7 will give us 91 so 91 minus 63 will be equal to x so 91 minus 63 is 28 so x is equal to 28 So S equal 28. Now we have to find the mean, the median. So with the median, we have to rearrange these numbers. So let's rearrange the numbers. We have 4, comma, 6, comma, 9 9 then comma 16 then comma 19 comma 28 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 so the median will be 9 so the correct answer will be A. Option A is the median. Now let's look at question number 16. So we're given that 
we're given that r is equal to 3i minus 5j uh, r is equal to 3 comma negative 5 then we're also given that n is equal to negative 2i minus 9j so n will be equal to negative 2 negative 9 we have to find r dot n so r dot n will be equal to 3 negative 5 dot negative 2 negative 9 so this will be equal to 3 times negative 2 plus negative 5 times negative 9 and this will give us negative 6 plus 45 so negative 6 plus 45 will give us positive 39 so the correct answer is option b now let's look at question number 17 of the wasi 2023 elective mathematics paper so we have integral from 0 to 3 from 0 to 3 of 4 minus 2x times x plus 3 so this will be equal to integral from 0 to 3 we have to expand so 4 times x is 4x this time this is 12 and this this time this is minus 2x squared the negative 2x times 3 is negative 6x dx so negative 6x and 4x will give us integral from 0 to 3 of integral from 0 to 3 of negative 2x then the negative 2x squared minus 2x because this and this will give us minus 2x then plus 12 dx so we integrate to obtain negative 2 over 3 s cube minus 2x squared over 2 plus 12x from 0 to 3 so if we fix in the values and that will give us when we fix in 3 we get negative 2 over 3 negative 2 over 3 times 3 squared minus 2 over 2 which is 1 so minus 3 squared so this is 3 cube so negative 2 over 3 times 3 cube minus 3 squared plus 12 times 3 now when fix in 0 we are going to get um, something times 0 times 0 times 0 so it will give us minus 0 now when we simplify this what are we going to get we are going to get the 3 will go here 3 squared so we are going to get negative 2 times 3 squared then minus 3 squared then we are going to get plus 12 times 3 which is 36 so we are going to get negative 3 times 3 squared negative 3 okay let's see negative 2 times 3 squared will give us negative 18 minus 9 plus 36 so negative 27 plus 36 and negative 27 plus 36 So 36 minus 27 that will give us 9 so it means the correct answer is 
option B. So you can do this with the calculator as well. Now let's look at question number 18. Find the range of values of x for which 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 is greater than 0. So we have to factor this. So multiply this by this to get 30 or negative 30, which is the same as mm, negative 30, 15 times 2, negative 15 times 2. Or, um, so we have negative 3 times 5 times 2. That will give us a negative 30. Now this can give us the factors to be negative 10 and 3 or positive 10 and 3 so we're going to get positive 10 and negative 3 so we can factor to get 2x squared um, minus 3x plus 10x minus 15 is greater than 0 so we have 2 um, x minus 3 when you factor x out, then we are going to get plus 3 outside, plus 5 outside, then we get 2x minus 3 is greater than 0. So we have x plus 5, x, 2x minus 3 is greater than 0. So need to test the region so with this we are going to get either x to be 5 or negative 3 over 2 x to be negative 5 or 3 positive 3 over 2 so that is when we solve the corresponding equation so we can just get a number line we get negative 5 here then we get 3 over 2 here. So we can pick a, a number from this region 0 and test it. So when you put 0 here, you get 5. When you put 0 here, you get negative 3. Now negative 3 times 5 will be negative 15, which is not greater than 0. So it means this region will be the solution. So x is either less than negative 5 x is less than negative 5 or x is greater than 3 over 2 so what to be the correct answer the correct answer is option b question number 19 if alpha and beta are the roots of x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0, we have to find the value of alpha squared minus 3 alpha beta plus beta squared. So this will give us alpha square plus beta squared minus 3 alpha beta and we know that alpha square plus beta squared is same as alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta then minus 3 alpha beta so this is equivalent to this so this will give us alpha plus beta all squared minus 5 alpha beta so alpha plus beta is minus b over a, which is negative negative 2 over 1.
all squared minus 5 c over a 1 over 1 1 over 1 so when we simplify this what are we getting we are getting positive 2 squared which is 4 minus 5 and that will give us negative 1 so the correct answer is option b Then let's look at question number 20. We have to find the fifth term in a binomial expansion of question number 20. The fifth term in a binomial expansion of 2x minus 3 all exponent 7. So we know that half term r plus 1 half term is given by n combination r a exponent n minus r b exponent r when this is for a plus b exponent n so to find the um, fifth term fifth term it means r plus 1 equal 5 r plus 1 is equal to 5 so r will be equal to 4 so t sub 5 will be equal to n, which is 7. When you compare this to this, n is 7. n combination r, 7 combination 4. Then a is, when you compare it, a is 2x. Exponent n minus r, 7 minus 4. Times b exponent r. B is negative 3 exponent 4. So we have to simplify this. 7 combination 4. So we have 7 combination 4 times 2x exponent 3 which is 8x cubed and times 3 exponent 4 which is 81 so 7 combination 4 will be so we multiply 7 combination 4 by 8 by 81 you're supposed to get two two six eight zero so you can find seven combination four on your calculator you can evaluate that and it will give you this result so the correct answer will be option d thank you so much for joining us to solve these questions 11 through 20 in the next video, we're going to consider questions 21 through 13.